<laughs> so I came down here this morning and I woke up my PC. Well, I didn't wake it up. That's the problem is I went to go ahead and wake it up and nothing happened. It was still black screen. So I went over to my computer, which is over here in the corner and my Leon Lee water pump was just displaying its logo, which is not normal. Usually it tells me the temps. And so that was my first indicator something happened. So I went ahead and rebooted the PC. And now I get this. So we're going to go ahead and try to troubleshoot this. Um, but first off, I just wanted to show you, I can navigate the mouse. I can even click on load optimized defaults and then boot or load optimized defaults and then boot. And I can double click on them. I can try and enter the BIOS. I can hit the enter key, but nothing happens. So we definitely have a problem here and it could be motherboard related. It could be the NVMe. Um, yeah, but this is why I do recommend backups. This is this is one of the biggest ones right here. So yeah, let's see if we can get this thing fixed. All right, so as I just said, we can click on these all day long. I can hit the keys on the keyboard and nothing happens. So we are left with trying to power it down first and I'm going to shut off the power supply and see if anything happens with that first and then we'll see what happens. So I turned off the PC, I turned off the power supply and then I pushed in the power button just to clear it and I did see the RAM light up briefly. So I turned the power supply back on. Now we are starting up again for the first time. Let's see what happens. I'll kind of try to leave this all live so we can kind of see at the same time if anything different is gonna happen. So it looks like we can get into the BIOS like that. So we will try that again. Oh, now the keyboard is working. So before the arrows did not work. So we wanna load optimized defaults. Okay, so it did work. Ah, look at that. Looks like we are getting into Windows. <laughs> that was definitely going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever done. But I kind of wanted to just get that out there in case anybody runs into that. I was in a way, I, I'm very glad that it's not a huge issue. But in a way, I was kind of hoping there would be some sort of a problem so we can go through a diagnosis video. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Um, what we can do is a crystal disk info and crystal disk mark check. We can also check with the um, Samsung Magician software. So let's check those out and see if there's any sort of a problem with the drives first off. All right, so basically what we're looking for is any type of errors or red or anything like that. Down here in the update center, it doesn't even look like we have anything new, which is actually surprising because I haven't updated this in on quite some time. So let's just go through. So we're on this one right now. I don't know which one's the C drive. Uh, I'd have to figure that out. Uh, I just don't know right off the top of my head if it would show there. Looks like we got nothing going on there. So we can also see how warm they are. Let's see if we have any other issues with any other drives. So, so far it's looking pretty good. So let's go to the drive details. I'm still not seeing anything in there. Go to the drive details on this one. Okay, drive details on this one. Still looks like it's working as it should. And drive details on this one. So I am not seeing anything noticeable. 
this is a diagnostic scan and what I would suggest myself doing here is let's figure out which one is the C drive. All right, unfortunately, I don't see a spot in here where we can tell what a drive it is other than we do have the serial number and I might be able to open up crystal disk info and check it that way. But nevertheless, what we can do with these is just go from the first one. Let's do a diagnostic scan and let's just do a short yeah let's just do a short scan let's see what happens see if we come up with any bad sectors if we do have bad sectors in here obviously you're going to see they're going to turn red all else they're going to turn blue <clears throat> looks like this takes about a minute to complete All right, that one looks uh, pretty good. So let's go ahead and do the next one. All right, the second one actually looks good too. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. This one is not going to be, well, actually it might be. So let me just do this one. Yeah, let's do this next one. All right, that one looks good also. And we have one last one that we will do. All right, it looks like this one. Yep, this one's also good. So all of my drives are actually good. So let's, um, let's go over to Crystal, because there's no, there's no updates that we can see. There's, there's zero updates which is kind of strange, but so we're on version 8.1.0. So we are, we are going to find out if there's a newer version for some reason, it's not updating it. I doubt it. So 8.1.0 and we're going to open up the crystal disc mark and I want to find out, I'll bring it right over here get rid of this and this one we can tell what drive we're on so let's go right to the c drive let's see a performance test on this i'm expecting close to seven yeah seven thousand the writes should be about 68 ish and right now it's writing to it so we'll find out yeah that's pretty good a couple hundred actually it's now it's less it's only 100 megabytes low lower than i thought and not even now so it's perfectly fine. I'm just going to, I'm not gonna check any of the other ones I was going to. I don't think there's an issue with those. So right here, we have the Samsung Magician software. Let's go to here. Let's just download the file. So it looks like that is the latest right now. So I'm not going to bother downloading anything. I know that there was an actual Ah, okay, so if you do click on that, it does bring you to here. And I just wanted to make sure for Windows, it does say 8.1.0. So we are on the latest. Yeah, so just a quick little research because I don't memorize this stuff. So anything, anything in this temperature range is actually normal. Really, it's 55 to 60 degrees Celsius is still a normal range. So I'm very happy with those results. So we're, we're perfectly fine here. All right, guys, so that's about it. Um, I wish it kind of went in a little deeper for your sake, for my sake. I'm glad nothing is a big problem here and it was just a simple reboot. And if I look over there, I can kind of pan over there for you. But if we look over there, we'll be able to see that my temperature uh, reading on the water pump and all that has come back to normal. So I'll just show you real quick. So I'm just going to kind of pan down here for you and sorry for the mess and all that. I still don't have the desk that I want in here yet and it's kind of a mess, but see now I can see that. Now there is a little bit of flickering there, 
And I've been wondering about that. I just haven't had time to take this thing apart and fix that. But I do have to do some updates to the software too. Well, I don't know what to tell you other than it's it was just some fluke, some random thing that happened. It could have had, there could have been a million reasons why it did that. So we checked all the temperatures, we checked all the drives for performance through the Magician software plus through the crystal disc, at least the C drive on the crystal disc. That was my main concern because I wasn't booting into Windows. It was like it wasn't seeing something. But I mean, there could have been a problem with another drive conflicting something going on. But I'm very confident that everything's okay now again. And my water pump's back to working normal. So yeah, it's just one of those things. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thanks guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon next to the subscription button. That way you can get notified for any future videos that I do post. And feel free to leave your comments down below. Give this thing a thumbs up just to show a little support for me and control that YouTube algorithm if it helps. And uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, take care.